What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 4 Blue Light of Death, how to tell if your PlayStation 4 is in the Blue Light of Death, and how to fix it. <music> Before we talk about how to fix the blue light of death, it's important to know if your PS4 is even having the blue light of death issue. Now how to tell if your PS4 is in the blue light of death, instead of starting up like normal and turning on, your lights will be blinking blue and will likely have a black screen on the TV. Now sometimes people actually have a message that comes up on the screen saying that there is weak or no signal, but most of the time it is simply a black screen, and on the PS4 itself it is the blue blinking lights. The blue light of death can actually be caused by many different things. In today's video I'm going to be explaining and talking about things that you can try to try to fix the blue light of death yourself, even if you're not tech savvy. Now of course what I'm going to be sharing is going to be the easier things, like I said, to try yourself, if, of course, they do not work, firstly, I recommend checking out other YouTube videos before taking it somewhere and paying somebody to fix your PlayStation 4, especially if it's something easy or cheap that you could have done yourself and save a ton of money. Now, if, for whatever reason, what I share in this video does not work for you, First of all, it doesn't mean it won't work for other people. The blue light of death is something that can be caused by many various issues. So if it works for one person, it might not necessarily work for the next. If what I share in this video does not work for you, your PS4 might have a bigger issue and you might have to take it to somebody and pay somebody to fix your PS4. But before going and spending all that money, why not try yourself to try to get it to work for relatively cheap? The first things to try when you're experiencing the blue light of death is to check out the HDMI cable and the power supply cable. To do this, first turn off your PS4 and disconnect all cables. Now you're going to want to check the cables for damage. This could be simply something like a frayed wire or in the actual end itself or also the inlets in your PS4 to make sure all the pins are straight and there's no damage there. For the HDMI cable, you're also going to want to disconnect it from the TV and check to make sure there's no damage in either the inlet in the TV or the cable that plugs into the TV ends. Ultimately, if you do have a spare or a backup HDMI cable or power supply cable, I recommend replacing both and trying to see if that will fix your blue light of death. If you reconnect all the wires and you turn your PS4 on, if it's no longer in the blue light of death, then that is great. If not, it is a different issue than the HDMI cord or the power supply cord. Another simple thing to check out is to see if the hard drive is seated properly. To do this, once again, you're going to want to turn off the PS4 and disconnect all cables. Next, you're going to want to remove the cover for the hard drive. Now, it depends on the model of PS4 you have. If you have original one, it's simply on the top. The PS4 Pro and the PS4 Slim are in a different spots but virtually the same thing. So you're going to take the cover off of the hard drive. You're going to want to check the alignments for the hard drive. Simply remove the screw, take out the hard drive, put it back in place, and tighten the screw back up. Now all you have to do is plug the cables back in, turn your PS4 on, and see if the PlayStation 4 blue light of death is resolved. If those don't work, the next thing to try is to troubleshoot the software. This is the most common thing to fix the blue light of death for the PS4. To do this, you're going to want to put your PlayStation 4 into safe mode. To do that, you're going to want to turn off the system. With the system off, you're going to press and hold the power button for five seconds. It will beep once it's going into safe mode. Now, if you do not hear the second beep, you did not hold the power button long enough, try it again until you get the second beep, and on your screen, you should have it go into safe mode. Once in safe mode, you're going to want to select the following options in order, because the very final step is to restore it back to its default settings, thus wiping everything off of your PlayStation 4 and putting it back to the factory settings. That is the final and last step you want to do. Now before escalating that points, once you're in safe mode, 
First, you're gonna select option two, that is to change the resolution. That to me is the number one reason why the PS4 goes into the blue light of death. In my last video that has received over 350,000 views, most people that claimed that they fixed their blue light of death issue was because of the resolution problem with their PS4. Once they changed the resolution, their PS4 was working properly. Once you select change resolution, you're gonna to want to select okay. Now it may take a couple minutes for it to power back up and to change the resolution. Once it is done and it'll come up on a blue screen asking you to select the new resolution. For me, whenever I fixed my blue light of death back whenever I did the last video, I select and left it on automatic. If you know what your TV is capable of, you can select the different resolution as you see fits. Now, if that doesn't work, what you're gonna need to try is to rebuild the database. So while going back into safe mode, you're gonna select option five. Now, just a warning, this may take a couple minutes or a couple hours, depending on how full your PlayStation 4 is. Once it's done doing its thing, if your PlayStation 4 turns on and you're able to play it and there's no longer a blue light of death, your problem is solved. Unfortunately, if you're still experiencing the blue light of death, it can be a bigger issue. Now, if that doesn't work, the very last thing to try is option four, and that is to restore to default settings. Now, before going and doing that, just remember any save files that are not saved and backed up onto the cloud and all of your games that you have downloaded on your PS4 are going to be wiped out. If you have all of your save data backed up to the cloud, it is not an issue because once you sign back in, you're going to have access to all your save files. As for the games, all you're going to want to do if it's a physical disc is to put the disc back in your PS4 and re-download the game. If it is digital, just go onto your library and re-download all the games that you want. Now, if you restore to default settings and your PlayStation 4 is still experiencing the blue light of death, there is a huge problem somewhere within your PlayStation 4, something that is not a quick and easy fix to resolve. At that point, it can be something internally with the power supply, which with the PS4, the power supply is inside, or it could be something and a problem with the hard drive, which I'm not gonna be tackling any of that in this video. Now, if what I share in this video does not unfortunately work for you, before taking it somewhere and paying someone to fix your PlayStation 4 blue light of death issue, I recommend checking out some other YouTube videos because there's a lot of great stuff. And like I said, the PlayStation 4 blue light of death can be caused by many different reasons. And just because what I shared in this video does not work for you, does not mean it's not going to work for other people. So I hope this video has helped you guys fix your blue light of death issue you are experiencing. Hopefully I did help and at least give you guys a little bit more information of the things that you can check with your PS4 to check to see if they will resolve the issue you're having. And I'm going to leave this video here. I hope this has helped and I hope your PlayStation 4 is now working. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.